Welcome back, everybody. We are now joined by two artists who are going to be telling us about their really exciting new ex duo exhibition. So we have with us uh, Miss Yao Ling and Mr. Terrell Goody. Godoy. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's Good, right. mo yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All Man right. at work. Man at work. Yeah, so we were uh, musing at the fact that you, you started uh, painting back in the 80s, was that it? About, yeah. I think it's Probably about 87. Whoa. Around that time. Yeah. Really to be on the street yeah. around that time. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I'm really interested to find out how, how this pairing came about. <laughs> so, <laughs> who, who wants to tell me all about it? <laughs> Well, well, clearly you have a funny story here, well, Yali. <laughs> well, let me... You go ahead, yeah. then. You go ahead. Yeah. Carlos Perotes, they have the jazz concert every mm -hmm. year. So I was invited to that band that I have painted on the stage for one of his jazz concerts. So he, whenever there's a jazz concert, he would invite, him, he would invite me. And um, I went there, and then I saw this little lady in full in I'm black. I'm little. <laughs> She's a little lady. She was doing a little sketch. So thing serious, like, very like serious she takes talking her about it. Sketch everywhere and she sketched. And I said, Well, we got an artist in here. And um, just peep over her hand and she was drawing the musicians. I said, Wow. I know I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> but she have met the man at work, that's the thing. Oh! And because <laughs> and, and, and because I haven't been yeah. painting on the street, I have lost the no one knows about me now Yeah. Because I'm I disappear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Carlos told me that uh, he wants to get me to paint for the show. But I didn't understand the setting, which would have been, there's about four canvas, and each one of us, or we can paint on each other's canvas. Yeah. So that's, that was a little bit different, because I don't work like <laughs> that. That as an artist, <laughs> you're saying, absolutely not. Nobody's coming to ruin my art. Well, she did. She did <laughs> oh, paint it over really one. Whenever I paint, well, she <laughs> painted over mine. And Carlos wasn't happy with that, so he told him, and... So she was a little bit dumb. That's the, that's the first time I met uh, Terry. Oh, we when can avoid that part. <laughs> Wait, we just keep the good part, the positive <laughs> part. Terry, please. Well the, good thing, well, the good thing that, just to say, the good thing that came out from that is that she got to know about Terry, and, and immediately she had um, planned an exhibition. Yeah. Archimist, actually, if you and remember, um, Archimist at the uh, Mexican Institute. Uh -huh. mm. She oh, was yeah. not brave enough to come and ask, Terrell, would you like to be a part of the show? So she asked a friend <laughs> to, for me no, to be I, in the show. I was trying to help in, in a, uh, when I work with people, mm -hmm. I, I do share the, uh, the resource. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I let them to do what they have to do so they can, you know, people get to know them. And yeah. yeah. But for the Carlos Perotes show, um, I don't really paint as much like I used to. Because um, I pin over you a painting. Yeah. That's no, why. The, the <laughs> the, the Are you complaining right now? No, no. I'm, I'm <laughs> just, can't I'm, complain. I'm, I'm just saying that <laughs> something good came out from it because um, I, Yolin put together a show because I seen me uh, painting out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would have just pulled right back into my music side. Yeah. But then um, now, she um, pulled me out to have this exhibition, and that means that I had to work. So I had to um, bring paintings for, for, for the show, which was a good show. Mm -hmm. And then it, it also um, make people get to recognize me again yeah. mm -hmm. as the artist. For the younger ones, they don't know Terrell as a painter. You did mm -hmm. say at one point that you were going to stop the art and focus only on music. It just started to happen already. I, couldn't even find a sensible brush to work with. Wow. <laughs> I'd have to buy brush all over and buy paints and stuff, but then I started to find myself back into painting. And a lady that is a, like a, almost like a woman at work, I would not want her to take that name. <laughs> but but um, the thing is that she, she worked. You mean she, Yao Ling, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she Yao worked. I see it you know? next to you, you know, <laughs> okay. not far away. <laughs> <laughs> so I became a good friend, so we, you know. I could but she's only a great imagine. Worker, yeah. <laughs> you guys probably have very fun conversations. Yeah, but yeah. I have to ask you, Yao Ling. I, let, me, let me say this story. Terrell is a part of my childhood memories growing up. I walked home from school every day, and we'd always have to stop on, on Albert Street and see him painting. And in fact, just it was such an important part of your everyday life. 
And I know that you also do landscapes, and you also spoke of the fact that sometimes you're so inspired by something you see, you just set up and, and paint or draw. Um, what was it like? I mean, how, when you found out his story, was that kind of the connection? Like someone that kind of that that sees and interprets things the way you do. Um, first of all, I think uh, did it, I didn't know that he 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 was or is famous. I have no <laughs> idea who he was, yeah. <laughs> but I do recognize. I mean, first time when I met him at the uh, Memorial Park, yeah. he's a good person. I think it's uh, just intuition, mm -hmm. and uh, and then after we uh, you know we. Uh, start to work together and get to know each other better. And I know that, oh, he, he, he paints well, people know him, and he used to paint a lot on the street, and people recognize him yeah. as men at work. Yeah. yeah. And I think, uh, <clears throat> to me, the most important a person as friend is not because of what you do or what you achieve, but he's a, a very pleasant uh, personality and a good, good person. Mm -hmm. But I think it's getting much right now that uh, um, I like to work with people who has the same driving. Mm. So I'm trying to push him. As he say himself, yeah, he, he, he doesn't paint a lot. Mm -hmm. But I push him. I'm a workaholic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I put up the event and I say, well, would you like to join me? Uh, I mean, for right now, the recent exhibition at the Taka Kitchen. Yeah. Um, it's not a gallery, it's a restaurant. It's the only Japanese restaurant in Belize and it was lovely. Yeah. And I love the ambience. So I invited uh, Tara. I said, would like to enjoy me? And uh, well, and I said, you need to prepare. Mm -hmm. I need some you know, yeah. good artwork. Although not, <laughs> not a large scale, but smaller ones. So. Not, not artwork, she needs some good artwork, right? Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. she said. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think, uh, and I really like people to paint from life. But I think everyone's different, uh, the condition and also the way how they work. Mm -hmm. But I really encourage people to go out and work from life mm -hmm. because uh, that's something that you can't... Um, okay. It shows. It shows actually from your canvas or paper, drawing paper, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really... It doesn't look very realistic because the time is limited. Mm -hmm. But it shows. It really mm -hmm. shows. Yeah. I mean, to me. To me, it really shows. And, uh, yeah. We should just keep. We should keep working. And the process is the yeah. most important. The journey is the most important. Yeah. So it's not here right now. It ends. No, it keeps going and going and going and going. Mm -hmm. Now, why why an exhibit uh, at Taka Kitchen? I mean, so you decided you wanted to put some artwork out there. Is that what happened? Well, uh, w I used to live in Europe. And uh, the place where I choose to exhibit my work, not only the gallery, uh, sometimes a banker as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I love the most is uh, a, a coffee shop or the restaurant, or especially the jazz bar. Mm -hmm. And because my motto is life is art and art is life. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't separate it. I think a music or some musician also, it should be all meal together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I don't care that if people, they go there to eat, only eat or drink, mm -hmm. I don't care. But the art just next to you, yeah. yeah. Right next it's to built you, in. right. Yeah. And I think I, w most of people, local people here, they don't recognize that uh, uh, it could be together. Mm -hmm. So I think it's uh, we are trying, we are trying to to Make a change. to introduce a way mm -hmm. so people get to know that the art is just next to you. Yeah. So next time when they go somewhere, they start to pay attention what's uh, next to them, their environment. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I was, um, what I had a problem where I was saying to her, why would we display in a small little room and at a restaurant? Yeah. But <laughs> so much trouble. And, I have to and, explain and, a lot. And, <laughs> and, and for me, I've traveled many places, but I've never seen that before. Yeah. And we know about Belize. We display in our art gallery. Yeah. Mexican but Institute yeah. or the Bliss Round Room. Exactly. Yeah. And Yolin have brought a new picture that art is live and you don't just have to display in an art gallery. It could be anywhere. I don't think she would do in the kitchen, but but well, she did at Taka Kitchen. <laughs> well, if you, put <laughs> a really, if you put a really nice kitchen here, we're we'll yeah. going to do it right here. Yeah. So it's Why wherever not? the people are. Yeah. Exactly. Life is art and where, art is life. It's all together. Are. Yeah. It's, it's a mood, it's an ambience. Yeah. It's where the life is brings and also the energy. And, and yeah. because of that, I'm also preparing an exhibition in San Pedro mm -hmm. at a cafe, 
at a good. internet cafe. <laughs> Bravo, good. Because of I've seen the way how she have done at Taka Kitchen and she have done at many other places. I feel so like it's, it's a virus. Is that virus spreading <laughs> out? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good one. It's a good one. But, but I, I want to ask, just, just how does your work complement each other? Because okay. clearly you'll have different styles. Well, um, we do paint different styles, but um, we have the same subject, just everyone have different flavor and different tastes of what they like. Mm -hmm. So they might see Yolen style, but they, see also, they also see my style. And, and it's two different settings. Mm -hmm. So people like variety to put on their wall. They just don't put one yeah. thing on their wall. You might have a, a Yolen, you have a Renette. Renette is back, by the way. And then you have Terrell, you have Papo, Edgar, mm -hmm. different artists. So. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a good contrast. And you have a different preference in mediums. Uh, well, um, when I curated the show Alchemist uh, early this year, mm -hmm. late last year, uh, I wanted artists to paint landscape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very specific request because we live in Belize, and what I found a very attracting subject to do is our environment, mm -hmm. beautiful landscape, beautiful scenery. Mm -hmm. And that is the things that I notice here. What? <coughs> yeah. I noticed um, Yolin was, she do all different, all different medium of art. She do um, oil, mm -hmm. pastel acrylic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything. I, and I, I, don't, I, do I, pretty much I don't do acrylic, sorry. Watercolor. You like watercolor? Uh, well, I'm sorry, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do, uh, my main medium is uh, oil, yeah. oil on canvas. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I do, well, uh, I do uh, scenery, landscape, mm -hmm. portrait. As you know, I did, one time you posed for me you long try. ago. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you moved too much, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I do figure, I do street life, I do sculpture as well. Yeah. And lately I've been uh, uh, working with watercolor. We talk about, uh, well, the medium is just the medium. Mm -hmm. It's the, the material we use. Yeah. So I've been working with watercolor. I found it fascinating, uh, vibrating and, and very refreshing. So I might keep doing it maybe a couple more months. Mm -hmm. And I found that people tend to like it more, I don't know. And because it's smaller scale as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it takes me less time, probably up to two hours. One to two hours, I can finish a small painting like this. Mm. And uh, I find refreshing, so I, I'll keep working for a little longer. But still, I have to go back to my oil because the scents, I really like it. It's <laughs> not dry, but I really like it. <laughs> we will ask about what all that chemical reaction is causing. <laughs> and what about you? Well, Man at work had to set up and do some work? Would you believe? I have a painting just below here. Yeah, grab that one, Gavin. Let's see it. And I got up 3 o'clock this morning to finish this painting so that... What? Yeah. And it's acrylic, so it's dry already. Mm -hmm. As you know, acrylic and water-based, they dry pretty fast. But um, that's the beautiful thing about acrylic. You can, it allows me to do as I want. While yeah. oil, you can't do that. Oil, there's too much rules. You Sorry, protest. <laughs> <laughs> I can do whatever I want with <laughs> oil, Terry. <laughs> artists you so can do whatever you want exactly now whether people will like it it's a different story <laughs> and bite my lip go back but, to the subject but let me ask you something especially because you both have an appreciation for the landscapes in this country which we all do but just don't capture it in art do, have you ever found pictures that perhaps you've you've uh captured or sceneries that you've captured from similar angles like this for example this is an iconic scene uh, but this is, I guess, from the other side of the river? Uh, Spooners. Yeah. I was painting behind from the Spooners. Spooners. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that makes a painting unique because while she might do it from that angle, it's like what they see. How you see the glass half full yeah. or what. So I would do it from a different angle. And I think you've done one like this, but from the bridge, haven't you? I've done many of yeah. the courthouse before. And I, um, what I notice, a lot of different artists like to capture it just from the front. Mm. And um, that is beautiful. I actually I have a Thank you very much, Terry. You said beautiful. <laughs> 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 but it's different angle you can recognize and uh, appreciate art, art is art, you know, yeah. how you, whatever angle you take it. 
Yeah. And in yeah. terms in terms of the collaboration for this exhibit between you um, both, um, clearly just sitting here, there's like a, <laughs> such a fun, interesting dynamic between you guys. Yeah. In terms of putting it together, choosing the pieces, working together, how a lot was of fight. that? <laughs> was really? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm the one who fight a lot, the mm -hmm. most. <laughs> Yet you still sit here so peacefully next to each other. So Pus clearly you, 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 you <laughs> had a resolution. <laughs> uh, and was there a particular theme perhaps that you had in mind, um, like any of your earlier exhibits? Or, or is this one sort of just y you guys had free reign? Well, uh, the last show I curated was uh, at the uh, San Ignacio uh, restaurant called Guava Lim, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the musician also I curated uh, with a concert. Uh, the uh, the Vienna cellist that Peter Ilavsky mm -hmm. and also my two other artists from San Ignacio, uh, Penner, uh, Valerie Penner and uh, uh, Hedman Figueroa. They were the artists I worked with from uh, Back to uh, Alchemist, mm -hmm. and uh, we did that show. And then, well, I'm kind of I can't stop. I keep working, and well, when I'm working on this one, I have another one already set up and ready. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, so before finish the, uh, the the summer breeze that was the name from uh, the uh, my latest show. Uh, I had planned for this one already, and I talked to Terio. Mm -hmm. And the main thing still is the landscape. I really like landscape here. Mm -hmm. It's it's never end. It's it only can get better and better and better. So uh, and also I think it's very important. Uh, the place where we're going to show our, our work is a restaurant. Yeah. yeah. So we need to have something really pleasant for people. And landscape is the best the choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as Terio he does, mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to evoke too much feelings when people <laughs> are eating. <laughs> I'm I'm planning a show called Human Design. That won't fit for the restaurant. I was <laughs> yeah. What do you can really say? <laughs> Unless it's have a <laughs> sexy chicken, right? Yeah. <laughs> One thing on a serious note though, Yolen is very serious about uh, whatever she yeah. do. I'm laughing, uh, but yeah. usually I'm But very she's serious. a very serious yeah. person. Yeah. Arranging things, putting things together. And uh, if, if you're not really with Say thank you to me. Say thank you to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, for true. She's, um, she's really good in preparing and, and putting things yeah. together. I'm very seriously about that. So what was it like for you, kind of just jumping back on the horse and getting some art out and figuring out what you wanted to be a part of the show? Well, it's a good thing that she has shook me up to get up in the art. Yeah. Because um, I really was sleeping for a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, because of this, I also um, encountered with some Mexicans, about a hundred Mexicans artists. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna. I'll, I'll be a part of that show in in Merida mm -hmm. for November. So um, they have emailed me and and wanted to know what I'm going to paint and the size and the price and everything. I've gave them all that in, um, in um, information. Information. And um, I'll be downtown Albert Street also to make a show. Yeah. Y'all didn't like to see you. Why you have so much pain to you doing a li little bit of work, like like if you really man at work, and, <laughs> and, and you have you more all the painters on you more than <laughs> well, um, the 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 children are coming from school. Yeah, they don't know me at all. So this is something that people like. Many times people say, oh, "We like your pants. We want to buy your pants. Or where can mm -hmm. I get a pants like that?" Well, it's um, I'm an artist, and I and I'm. Not only that I go out and paint, but you know, it's good to show who you are. And this is what I'm, so I'm, I'll be down there painting the scene for the Mexican exhibition. It's going to be a huge painting and wow. preparing for that in Merida. So Terrell, does this mean that you have no longer put yourself in a position where you have to choose music versus art? I will see you how I'm going both? to collab both of them together because, um, like for instance, I have this new album that I'm working on, and by the way, we're making um, the reggae bus over again. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Jump on the Reggae Bus, and it's a remix of the reggae bus. But the, the theme, the cover, I'm thinking to put a painting, a uh, very um, happy, colorful, maybe it could be, um, I'm not really, um, not to say good in portrait, but I'm not a person that, that do portrait very often. I've yeah. done a few, 
But um, I think I'm, I'm going to put the musicians in um, portrait. I would, I would work on that. And in a you're going to add an owl setting. or something, add a little animals or something, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> or a yowling. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but here, here's interesting. I, d is there any uh, move to maybe someday see yowling and Terrell side by side doing a painting somewhere in Belize? Oh, we, we did, did already. already. Well, not at the at no. the in Mexican Institute. Set we up did on the, on the street. street outside. Yeah, we, we did many already. Many places we have worked on the street. So we didn't see the man and woman because at work. <laughs> because we have to invite you then. <laughs> because <laughs> it's, because we go we we go to places where you probably would not be in those far. We like old wooden. Yeah, the old colonial them. looking. Yeah. So we got to go where that is, and yeah. we go to some of the real areas where yeah. like. Gumbulung, what do you call it? Bungulung. <laughs> and those areas. Do you work you on separate pieces things. or you're working on one piece together? And she would paint that and I paint this. Mm. Or, you know. That's interesting. Huh? But he takes longer. I work very that fast. Too. So that I don't is know how to Because I have more detail <laughs> work. Because I have more detail work. That's true, that's true. She's just everyone's approach is paint. different. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, so I might next time uh, we, we are planning to go out to paint again. Yeah. But I told him, I might, you know, the same lens, you know, maybe he, he has to work for six hours. Mm -hmm. And I might work for maybe five, three, four different sketches. And maybe if I lose my patience, I might just leave him alone there. <laughs> but I've been, I've, I've been left alone though? on the street. Um, <laughs> what was the reaction when people see People like me guys? more. Oh. The children, oh. uh, because I'm more friendly, I smile. <laughs> Yeah, she um, <laughs> she goes on the street to smile at people, and I'm the man at work. I go to paint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds like we have to document this because this must be a very interesting venture yeah. you guys have set out to do. <laughs> but in the meantime, the work that you do have on display is at Taka Kitchen. For how long? Uh, well, uh, it's been for a while, and uh, mm -hmm. it's About going to show. Now? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to show until 24th of uh, August. Okay. And uh, there's still like a little more than two weeks to come and visit. And they have great food, great people. Mm -hmm. I, I really like to, it's, it's, that is one of the reasons I choose the place where I'm going to exhibit because yeah. my art is part of me. And I like my art to go somewhere that I like that place. Mm -hmm. You will love it. Great people, great food, and great arts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. great price you did not I was going to say, the, yeah. all mm -hmm. the pieces, they're on sale? Oh, yes, yes, mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some are sold already. So please come and take a look and um, see the availables if you like some of them. Yeah. yeah. I want to... I want to to encourage those taxi drivers from the tourist village and other places. Yes, when you bring someone to buy art, you also get your commission for whatever sales. But I don't do the, it would be um, the lady from Taka Kitchen, right? Yeah. She's yeah, the one that yeah. take care of the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever, yeah. so that, that's how it works. So people, and because they're small pieces, which you ensure, yes. easy to go. so yes. people can take them back as a souvenir mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. well. That's yes. a great exactly. idea. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And for local people also, not only souvenir, but part of your life, you can, oh, of you course. know, just, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lovely thing. And also, you need to support artists. Yeah. Can't oh, look at it, you have to actually really do it, mm -hmm. so we can keep doing what I, what we love to do and to contribute a little bit. Um, yeah. I mean, to do some recording about Belize because everyday life, everyday, uh, I mean, things yeah. change. Like uh, the houses we are painting, mm -hmm. soon they will vanish, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I think I like. That one is almost yeah. gone right mm -hmm. now, the actual, yeah. on um, Max Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on this final going down now. So I, I had to paint it very quickly and uh, took pictures to finish the painting off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. So what's next for this duo? Uh, well, um, I really like Taka Kitchen to invite me. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see the picture, I did send some images to mm -hmm. show the audience. Uh, from outside the highway, it's at the uh, northern shop. That's right. From outside, you can always see I have a sign, our exhibition. I, I will use that space regularly to display mm -hmm. Not only my work, but some local artists, I'll put them together mm -hmm. and we will show our artwork regularly. Mm -hmm. So if you go there, please just pay attention a little bit what's hanging on the wall yeah. and, uh, and uh, enjoy your appetite and also your vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
And you're headed off to Merida. That's going to be November 15th. Okay. Oh. And I'm going to have more. I'm going to keep Billy's <coughs> informed of what's going on with the show. Mm -hmm. It's a great um, for the Mexicans and Belizeans. We can probably have more show. We go there and they go. They come here. Oh, just a little update, yeah, yeah so for myself. Do with that, yeah. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, I have an upcoming show at the museum. It's a solo show, a serial solo, uh, solo show. Mm -hmm. uh, me August or <coughs> the end by the end of August. Uh, gonna be inside of uh, the art gallery of museum, mm -hmm. and also then. The, the art work gonna travel to different houses of culture, mm -hmm. and uh, I might love to come back and share with all of you again mm -hmm. soon. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And in the meantime, duo. That's the name uh, of the that's artist. Very very important right now. <laughs> yes. Happening. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is ongoing. It's a work by both Terrell Godoy and Yao Ling at the Taka Kitchen, Taka Kitchen. in Belize yes. City. Yes. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You. Thanks, Thanks too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Clearly, yeah, this is this is a fun collaboration between you two. We hope to see yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'd like to come back again to whenever the album is, whenever we're done with the album of music. Yeah. I'd like to show the other side of my talent, um, not the painting, mm -hmm. but the music, and hope I can bring my band members and we can set up some, if it's possible. Yeah. And um, the new release. All right, so well, I'm planning we look to forward to having you back. Yeah, I'm planning to do a concert too for the peoples. It's not going to be a concert where you pay to come in. It's going to be a concert where you, where you can purchase. Uh, um, it have a, a flash drive and, mm -hmm. and a photo of me and uh, uh, maybe a, you get whatever drink or mm -hmm. whatever you want on it, and that is the way I'm going to pay my musician another. Oh, nice. So I have some little plans, ideas, how to. All right. Well, do be together. sure to keep us updated. All Thank right. You. We got to go ahead now and wrap up our show now. So right. we'll be back in a few. So please stay tuned.